Hello Twin Flames, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me. It means the world. So we've put some intense videos on today. So let's tune into the masculines then to really see what's going on. And I'm going to use the tarot cards. I'm going to, I was going to use the sex cards, but there's a lot of gentle energy around today. A lot of gentle energy for the masculines, you know. So angels, what are the masculines feeling today, please? How are the masculines feeling today? What do we need to know about the masculines? How are they feeling today, please? How are the masculines feeling today? Wow, let's have a look then. Okay, so... They're going to show, they're saying this one first of all, because this is the one that fell over. They're feeling defensive today. The masculines are feeling a little bit defensive. They've got the sword out. The storms are whirling around again. There's fear energy going on. They're worried. They're wondering what's going on. You know, they're trying to sort out their stuff on the 3D and they feel like they're being judged. That's what the angels are telling me. They feel like they're being judged by others today. They feel like they're being watched. And this isn't by the feminine. This is by people in their 3D reality. People that they are dealing with every single day and they really feel like they need to defend themselves today. So they're going through some stuff and, you know, they're defending themselves as well and they're standing the ground, they're setting boundaries down and they're not quite sure right now how to move forward. They're not quite sure and they want to come forward to the feminines but they're, they're procrastinating, they're not sure what to do and the angels are saying on the 3D right now they need to put the last ones in place so it's like they're really... Fi the finalizing things that they're doing on the 3D, the finalizing things, um, things in their life, their career, their success, their projects, anything they're creating, the finalizing things, it's coming to the end of whatever they're doing. And there's opportunities surrounding as well. You know, there is um, people around them, you know, people around them tempting them. This is karmic partners. But the masculines know that they've got more things to think about right now. There's other things. There's just, you know, there's many cups there and just one person here. And the angels are saying that there's a lot to choose from. But they know what the cherry is on the cake. They know what the cherry is on top of the cake and that's the feminine. And, you know, that's the connection between the masculine and the feminine. It's still there. It's not going anywhere. And I've just put a video on that might trigger a few people. You know, this is a perfect union between you and your twin flame. But unfortunately, in the 3D, there's things that get triggered. There's ego involved, you know. It's not as easy as coming together and declaring your undying love. You have to learn. You're mirrors of each other. You have to learn the lessons. And even though the sun's shining on everything, you know, the cups bubble up. You create pain and suffering within each other because you are mirrors of each other. There's only the twins that can create this within the twins. Nobody else will make you feel this way. Nobody else will get away with what, you know, your masculine gets away with. You know, that let, keeps this cup bubbling up. They create pain within you, suffering, anger, frustration, jealousy, all these things that need healing. It's like Wayne Dyer says, you know, if you squeeze an orange juice, what comes out? Orange juice. You know, if you squeeze an orange, what comes out? Orange juice. If you squeeze you, what comes out? Does fear come out? Jealousy, anger, bitterness. You know, what comes out? That's what your masculine and your feminine are healing within you. And the masculine struggle with abandonment. The feminine struggle with being misheard. You know, they, they struggle with feeling that they're not good enough. Self-worth issues. Whereas the masculine fears abandonment. He's dealing with things from his childhood. He's healing things. And you've got to be patient because on this journey, there's so much emotion around. There's so much emotion connected with the twins that you have to go above to heal. And this is why separation happens. Separation happens because it's so intense when you're together that neither twin can deal with it, you know? Neither twin can deal with it. And if you think you're ready right now to be with your masculine, then you really have to, you know, just look within. Because the angels are saying, if you were completely ready right now, you'd be in union. But you're not. You need to heal things. You need to heal things and learn and grow. And you can connect with your twin anytime you want to on the 5D plane. That's where the love is right now. 
Things are moving forward, the wheel of fortune. You know, the angels have got things under control. If you're doing your work, and what I mean by that is surrendering, let go, working on you, then, you know, they're taking the reins back. The angels, the divine, has got the strength and the power there to move things in the right direction. Because remember, if you're you if you're on the boat, okay, imagine the canoe and it, or the canoe or and you've got your oars and you're in a current, and the current's trying, the, the stream's trying to take you this way, and you're going that way, then, and you're going up, you know, towards the current, the angels are here saying, just let go and allow me to steer you in the right direction, and if you surrender and let go and accept things, and just think, right, it is what it is, I'm learning, I'm growing, I'm sending love, you know, I'm just grateful that I am here and I am me and things are, are, are okay right now. Then you let go and you give the divine the power to take the oars from you. And then they direct you in the right way. They take you in the direction of the stream so that, you know, you're going with the flow. You're surrendering, you're letting go. And, you know, the feminines are feeling very, very, you know, on edge right now. They're saying you're feeling on edge, you're not quite sure what's coming. You know something's coming, but you're not sure what it is. So you're kind of like getting your swords out as well. You don't know what to expect. And you don't know what to expect from the masculine. Because the masculine is acting a bit idiotic right now. Back and forth energy, not quite sure what he's doing, you know. Acting a bit like a fool right now. So... It's putting the feminines on edge. You don't know what's to come. But this is what's to come, you know. And this is the union in its 5D glory. This is how it is, you know. It's unconditional. You're holding hands. You're together. You're loved and supported from above. The sun is shining on everything. You know, you're getting energy from above. And it's creating beautiful blessings. But you just have to be patient because things are not always what they seem. What are the masculines going through right now, please? What do we need to know about the masculines right now? Family and tribe. Family and tribe. So, you know, the masculines are really making sure right now that their family is sorted out, that everything's okay. And I felt this coming in. They've got family issues. There's things going on with people in their life, in their real life, that they are sorting things out with their tribe, whether this may be karmic partners or people they're associating with friends, you know, and it kind of feels like the, there's a bit of destructive energy around right now with the masculines where, you know, they're lashing out at people, they're lashing out, the angels are saying they want to spend time on their own, but they're not able to because they've got family stuff going on, they've got family stuff going on, they've got commitments, they've got priorities, and they're being dragged into things they don't want to be dragged into, so the masculines are just feeling a little bit lost and afraid right now and a bit vulnerable, like they need time out. They need time out, the masculines do. And they're rising from the flames, so, you know, they're creating. This is about this card here. They're, put, they're putting the final steps into place with whatever they're creating. Remember, they're creating a reason to come forward to the feminine. And, you know, that's what they're doing now. They're creating something. And I feel this is why, as well, feminines, you're having troubles with your hands. You're having troubles with your hands, fingers, hands, knocking things up. Because, you know, you're afraid of the minor details of the future, how things are going to happen how the masculines are going to come to you, worrying about the masculine, and you're creating hand injuries, you know, I've done that again today, bashed my hand up, you know, fingers, things with your nails, we've spoke about this, and it's about letting go, so the masculines are doing their work on the 3D to come forward to the, you know, the feminines, but you have to be patient on this journey, and you know, it's about just accepting things the way they are. It's about accepting things and letting go and surrendering. And I, I love you all so much, you know, and I want you to feel at peace and I want you to feel safe on this journey and that things will be okay. And the angels are saying, no matter what happens, things will be okay. Just keep the faith. Better times are ahead. The spring awakening is coming. You just have to let go. And the saying again, let go of anything pent up inside you that's creating any anxiety or stress over this situation. Sending you lots of love and I'll speak to you soon.